All right, it's Thanksgiving, Mopar fams. And we're carving the truck instead of the turkey. Yeehaw. First cut down. All right, Mopar fam. We did some more cutting. Um, so we basically used a sawzall with a long blade. And we cut pretty far back. Um, just to the very back of this cowl. Um, under the windshield here. On both sides. And then we can kind of push this down. And now what we're going to do is use an air compressor and a cutoff wheel. Or a ziz whiz, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to go in here and cut from about the back corner and go straight across here um, with a ziz whiz. Because that's kind of the only tool um, that I can think of that's going to really fit in there and cut this easily. Uh, you probably do it with a Dremel also, with a little Dremel wheel and cut it. But yeah, a Dremel would also work if you don't have air tools. Um, you could probably get a Dremel cutoff wheel back there to cut across the back. And then after that, we should have more than two and a half inches of um, clearance up here because the intercooler cord or the intercooler assembly is two and a half inches uh, thickness overall. So we're going to be raising the upper manifold lid up two and a half inches. So uh, we should have plenty of room here after we finish this last cut. So let's go get some more tools and finish cutting poor frostbite up. All right, Mopar fam, we have all the cutting done. Zizwiz and a Sawzall seem to do the trick. And that is where we got so far. Cut all this out all the way back to the very back of the firewall. Um, and then what I did here is the very two bolts on the back for the holly is real tight when you get up here um, with the air to water intercooler. So um instead of trimming out all this again and it's getting real hard to get the ziz wheel in here i just kind of did some triangle notches and uh that's where we got so our bolts can drop in there in the back um with a little bit of finessing but other than that we should be good and that's what we're looking like so far but there you go that is what we're looking like so far so we're gonna start putting some parts on all right, Mopar fam, we are getting closer. Uh, we have pretty much everything laid out. We got our water lines hooked up to the new intercooler. We have our dry nitrous nozzle mounted back up. We have laid out our new plumbing, and that's all there is. It's a short 90 degree pipe. Uh, we clocked the Torx Storm Supercharger, um, pretty much going up straight up. We used to be poured in straight down the way we used to have it plumbed up when we had the intercooler in the front here it used to come out here so now we're going to be coming out the top a little l pipe and now we're to the point where we're going to start doing the tig welding and we got to weld in the blow off valve adapter onto the pipe uh, we got to weld a bung on right here for our meth nozzle to screw in 
and we're going to weld another bung for the dry nitrous nozzle to go in on the back side of the pipe right here and then we will be pretty much done about fucking time <laughs> so that's what she's looking like so far and we got this side plugged off with two plugs we have the new 417 motorsports um, intercooler installed this is the air to water intercooler 1500 horsepower model it's two and a half inches thick and it fits in between the holly high ram manifold and the top uh, lid um, we have some just good old cheap uh, water line hooked up to it right now just to get things going um, as we're running out of time to be able to go test and race so we will down the road eventually make this look a little bit better we might do some braided lines like we did the fuel lines and everything but for right now this is working just fine we got it clamped on there with some uh, an barb fittings running all the way to the ice box um, i had to redo my uh, pressure pipe as we got rid of all the intercooler pipes that was down here um, we got rid of the intercooler that was behind the grill and as a lot of you know we had the supercharger outlet we had it clocked at the bottom to accept the intercooler pipes down there so now we have it clocked uh, coming up the top here it's kind of similar to how we did storm and we have now a aluminum pipe no more stainless steel pipe we got aluminum pipe here we got the blow off valve installed meth injection right here and the dry nitrous nozzle mounted here along with the nitrous solenoid mounted on top of the holly lid so we got a super short pipe it should make boost quicker um, we should make a little bit more boost because we don't have all the extra piping and intercooler volume to have to fill um, to get the system pressurized when it starts to make boost um, so you know i would think we should be a little quicker right here in the back right behind the fuel cell uh, this is our ice box for right now we just got a little cheapy one from cx racing and you can see we have so you can see we have the ice cubes in there and the water nice and cold this should give us some super super cold ieds we will find out uh, on our first log but it is super ice as you can see it is literally sweating right now that is how cold this box is we got a little drain right here. I can hook a hose to it and we can drain the water out and add more ice if we need to. 